government jobs in architecture and planning is that your target then this is going to be an important video for you within the span of last five years delhi development authority has recruited 130 plus architects and planners for the permanent posts posts through requirement tests conducted by them that is at central government level similarly at state level you have rajasthan public service commission so for example rpsc uh, and other government agencies in rajasthan have conducted uh, have recruited assistant town planners 100 plus assistant town planners within the span of last three years similarly states like punjab punjab public service commission also recently released a notification for requirement of 150 plus posts which are based on uh, which which had a requirement of architecture be art as a qualifying degree so you have a lot of opportunities across the country be it at state level or central govern, government level for the government jobs now in this context so with the increase in the number of government jobs in the in the field of architecture and planning and with the increase of competition in this area of those students who are competing for government jobs in architecture and planning in this context we at kp gate classes have launched a new one year foundation course which you can enroll into to be prepared for these government requirement tests particularly with a focus on these government requirement tests which are conducted throughout the year so this video is all about this one year foundation course which we have launched launched for your preparation of uh, uh, the government requirement tests particularly so let me take you through the details of this particular course so that you also get to know if this is something which you are aspiring for you can all or you can enroll into our course and then uh, uh, stay prepared for the government requirement tests whichever are going to come for the next couple of years uh, so this is something which is not so well uh, at the outset at the beginning itself let me point out the importance of it the foundation course even though it is a one year program this is going to be useful so for it if you are a recent pass out uh, let us consider for the next 10 to 15 years you would be eligible for various requirement tests across the agencies uh, government agencies across the country so this one year preparation which you put into it will be useful for your next 10 to 15 years so that is something which you should uh, remember at the beginning of this particular details of this foundation course so let me start by first telling you the importance of this foundation course which we are launching so, so if you look into the so you can see on the screen i have put on a lot of government agencies which have recruited architects and planners within the span of last five years like telangana public service commission delhi development authority isro isro also uh, so within last five years it has conducted the requirement as for architects multiple times more than two times for sure uh, so in 2021 was the latest one where isro has recruited uh, architects through their requirement test uh, so you also have sikandrabad containment board you also have chennai metropolitan Bulletin Development Authority, CMDA. So there are a lot of government agencies uh, spread across the country. Uh, so first point which you need to understand is if you look into these requirement processes by the government agencies, uh, the gap between the release of the notification. So when uh, when is it that you get to know that there's an opening? When there's a release, official release of the notification. So once there is the official release of the notification, the period before the exam, the time gap from notification till the date of the examination on an average it is around three to four months sometimes it can be up to a year also sometimes it can be two months also so on an average it is around three to four months that's the general timeline between the release of the notification and the examination now three to four months of time generally if you look into the syllabus of these various government examinations the uh, time of three to four months before from notification till the date of the examination that for sure will be sufficient for your revision but it would not be sufficient for a full length practice or full length study of the complete syllabus for any government requirement test so the correct approach regarding the government jobs should be you should always stay prepared you should have your foundation very strong you should be clear with all the concepts which in general can be part of a syllabus and once there is an official notification for the for the span of three to four months you can always revise before the examination particularly based on the official syllabus of that particular uh, official notification of the examination so that's the context of this foundation course the foundation course will build up your concepts 
the basic concepts which are a part of a syllabus or syllabus for various government examinations generally i'll get into the details of the course content also because many students have a doubt as to how can we have a standard syllabus for all these government examinations obviously you cannot but we'll come to those details in a while so if you build up your foundation build up your concepts that is uh, that makes it very easy for you to revise before the examination for those three to four months once there's a release of the notification and you can stay ahead of others uh, in terms of being prepared for that particular examination so that's the context where this uh, course fits into uh, it, uh, that's a point which i thought i'll put uh, make it clear in the introduction of this particular course let us now dwell into the details of this foundation course what is the course content how we at kp gate classes have prepared the course curriculum for this foundation course and what are the resources we would be giving it giving to you as a part of this one year foundation course which will develop your skills for the requirement tests across the government agencies uh, uh, across government agencies for the posts of architects and planners particularly so firstly the course structure so we have done an in-depth analysis of the recently held government examinations and uh, we also have considered the factor of those so we have co uh, considered those agencies particularly which tend to have a repetitive pattern in terms of conducting the requirement test for the recent past so uh, so those agencies which have been conducting the requirement test multiple times in the recent past tend to generally have a similar pattern moving ahead so considering those government agencies which tend to require architects and planners multiple times with, uh, periodically uh, so by taking those official syllabus as an input we have developed the course curriculum so the inputs for this course curriculum so we have divided we have created an exhaustive list of subjects which are generally part of various government examinations so the inputs for preparing this course matrix what you see on the screen of this particular uh, you can also look into the uh, list over here so we have we have prepared an index list of subjects and what are the various exams it has been a part of like for example ecology and environment it is something which has been a part of almost all these 13 examinations which we have put under analysis so uh, these uh, 10 or 11 exams which we have displayed on this matrix that's not the limitation to the inputs for this course content we have considered many more examinations also but some uh, have been described over here like for example ecology and environment it has been a part of the requirement as conducted by dda hpsc that is haryana public service commission rajasthan public service commission the, uh, tamil nadu public service tnpsc hpsc uh, uh, hp HPSC actually HPSC planning and HPSC architecture both have been considered Haryana uh, not only Haryana even Himachal Pradesh Public Service Commission also there's going to be an exam very uh, a few months from now so we have considered the official syllabus of that exam as well CMDA TNPSC PPSC so we have taken inputs from the official syllabus of architecture and planning posts uh, by various government agencies that's the first major input not only that we have also considered the pattern of the examination so if you look into the official question paper so the official question paper of these various examinations uh, for the past uh, five to ten years all those past question papers has be, have been taken as an input so considering the official question paper pattern of various government examinations for the post of architecture and planning architects and planners and number two the official syllabus released by various notifications various government agencies by by doing a thorough understanding by getting a thorough understanding and doing a complete detailed analysis of all the official syllabus and the question papers we have prepared a list of subjects which will be part of this one year course curriculum for the foundation course so the topics range from ecology and environment water supply sewage treatment urban planning housing transportation so on even lighting climatology landscape urban design and, uh, all these are the part of the course curriculum now some topics for example lighting it has been from the list which you see on the board it has been a part of syllabus for only three exams the remaining six or seven exams it has not been a part of it but we do cover everything and we also will share you the in-depth analysis as to which topic will be a part of which all examinations of the recent past so that you can stay aware and if you have a particular target in terms of uh, government examination as to which agency you're targeting for that will make you even that will make you even more easier for you to target for or, or to have a special emphasis on particular topics so 
as a part of this course curriculum you will have an in-depth analysis and the list of topics and on the course matrix as to what are the subjects we are going to cover and it will be a slow paced you will have a total of 150 plus hours of live online classes which covers the entire syllabus which we are going to commit to you so we will be sharing you the list right ahead before the start of the classes so the batches are starting very soon you can enroll into our batches and get benefit of this foundation course so further details as to what are the resources we will be providing to you so i hope the course structure so it is just a brief description uh, description which you see on the screen the in-depth list of subjects and all will be shared to you at the time of enrollment uh, so that you can have it for your reference i hope uh, so the point to be brought or to be uh, clear at this point of time is building your concept foundation course is all about clearing your basic concepts and making you ready for the government examinations and uh, now uh, so that uh, list of subjects is based on the official syllabus and the past paper patterns now coming to the resources how are we going to make you uh, clear with your concepts in this foundation course for that we would be providing four major resources Number one would be live online classes. As I told you, you will be having a total of 150 plus hours of live online classes where the teacher would be coming live and teaching you the concerned subject. So the subjects cover everything ranging from climatology or say uh, urban planning, solid waste management, water supply, even civil subjects like uh, structures and also surveying level, surveying leveling also you would be surprised which is not a part of gate architecture and planning syllabus but it is generally a part of most of the government requirement tests for architects and planners across the country surveying and leveling would also be covered so all these subjects which are a part of various government requirement tests 150 plus hours of live online classes will be provided to you which are spanned throughout uh, so the course validity the course is is designed for one complete year uh, the classes can range anywhere be between six to seven months so uh, you will have a total of 150 plus hours of online live online classes the duration might increase based on the scope of the subjects which we are considering moving ahead but at this point of time 150 plus hours of live online classes and that's what we are targeting for now each and every live online class will be available with a recorded backup if you that's the second resource if you happen to miss some lecture or if you want to revise some other lecture before some examination you can always rewatch that lecture from the recorded backup which is which will be available to you on the mobile app you can watch the lecture anywhere any number of times uh, on your mobile app on your mobile phone on the kp gate classes app itself and uh, the access will be valid for the complete one year you can watch the lecture any number of times you want and then you have the test series test series which includes 2000 plus questions the question test series also has been particularly developed keeping in mind the government requirement test uh, see the uh, other example like for example if you compare gate architecture many students have just out gate architecture and government post if you compare those two there is a difference in the pattern of the paper gate examination has a focus on the conceptual and uh, more focus on the numerical part as well measurement units and all but government requirement tests generally tend to uh, ask you theoretical questions so you will have a special test series with 2000 plus questions which will include past exam papers uh, and also new tests which are in the pattern of the various government requirement tests of the same standard of the same level uh, so that's test series which you will have access to which you can practice for yourself practice after the lectures Test series again let me tell you will be a combination of section wise or topic wise test and also mixed test or mock test which will be a mixture of all the topics. So both the tests will be available on the test series portal and then you have the study material set. So set of books will which cover the entire course curriculum which we have designed will be delivered to you and you can always have these books for your reference. So these books you should keep on studying those books in parallel uh, so parallel with the lectures whichever are going on parallel with those topics and these set of books which we will be providing it will be a comprehensive set of study material covering entire syllabus and this comprehensive set of study material books will be useful for the next 10 years remember because uh, till the time you are eligible for the various government requirement test you should have this study material set handy with you for your reference so that you can keep on studying or refer to the books before any particular examination so that's about the inputs which so i have briefly discussed about the course curriculum and the resources which we are going to provide to you as a part of this course curriculum uh, for the various government so that's about the detail for this foundation course for government testing architecture and planning uh, so if you are 
someone targeting to be clear with your concepts and study for the government requirement test and be prepared or, uh, so that you are ready and only revise once there's a notification is out uh, you can always uh, in, you can enroll into our batches the detail uh, you can contact us on the description number given in the description of this video the contact number given in the description of this video you can contact us and we will be glad to help you to enroll into this particular course uh, hope to meet you soon and thank you